First, to give you all a little inspiration, I'm going to show you how to prepare a vegan version of one of my signature dishes and turn my famous beef wellington into my infamous beet wellington. Oh. Everyone, please, eyes wide open. Being a pastry chef, I don't personally have a ton of experience cooking with vegan food. I've never worked without dairy on my side, so it's definitely going to be a challenge. When I say beet, I mean the most amazing beets. I part blanched this beetroot here, okay? Beautifully seasoned it, blanched it in boiling water. We're gonna wrap this with a vegan beet crepe. We've taken the tops of the beets, pureed them with some fresh chives, and made a proper crepe batter. So lightly oil the pan, season the bottom of the pan. Get that toasting a little bit, and get this crepe in. Now spread it throughout. From there, release that. Little tap, tilt that down, around, push away, and turn over. You get a really nice color on there. Start up, Ooh. chef. That goes on to your clim film. Okay. From there, take your mushrooms and literally just spread that out nice and thinly. I've got some chestnut mushrooms that I've chopped. Taking the water out. Next, take your beet, stick that in the middle. Okay. So roll that over, nice and tight like that. Squeeze in the ends and just tighten that like that. You can now start to see that sort of shape of the Wellington. So we set that in the fridge, literally like that, five minutes. Now we start with that vegan pastry. Lay that down. We don't use eggs, clearly, because it's vegan. What I've got is this incredible brine from chickpeas. Mm. So brush nicely. Once you've set your little cylinder in the fridge, literally sit that on top there. And now we're gonna roll that over, nice and tight and then squeeze and twist. Set that again in the fridge, five minutes. Now, once that's set, get your brush again and lightly paste over with your brine from your chickpeas. And then I've got some toasted pumpkin seeds that sit on top, and that goes in the oven for 12 to 14 minutes. As that's cooking, we're gonna start dressing the plate. And this is where the dish goes up to a complete another level now. It's so incredible. Watching Gordon cook. We've got golden beet puree. He's like an artist bringing paints and colors to life on a blank canvas. Take these roasted beets and just sit them on the plate. You just see all these ingredients just magically transformed into this beautiful vegan dish. I'm stunned by that transformation. Take your pastry out. Wow. 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 That is perfect. Slice off the ends very carefully. You can feel how crispy that pastry is. Lift that up. Nicely done. Wow. And look, amazing. Oh, wow. that's perfect. A little touch of acidity with a beautiful balsamic vinegar. And then finally, we're going to finish that with a nice, bright, green vinaigrette. Wow, chef. And there we have a beautiful roasted beet Wellington. And that's how our true master chef executes a delicious vegan dish.